Hello, how are you today? Not so good. <laughs> what what seems to be the problem? Well, I've been getting these little red red things and swallow things on my on my finger and everything. I'm really scared of it and pretty much at my job they told me not to go anymore because I'm here for check and I need to something with it. I'm not allowed to be there. Okay. Can I look at it please? Okay, yeah, it's um, it's a little inflamed, a little red here. Um, is there pain? It it, it hurts. It, uh, at the beginning, only it was like it was like had every time, and, and but now it's starting to hurt. And I, it, it's really, really annoying. Okay, let me um get a few things about you. Let's get your weight and your height. Let's get that down, you know, so we have a place to start it. So let's go over here. And you like, you hear it. Okay, can you turn this way? Okay, let me write this down. Okay. Okay, so for starters, um, how long has this been going on again? Almost for two weeks already. At the beginning, it wasn't like this though. It just it was a little bit of things on on the tip of my fingers in the beginning, but now it's starting to grow all over my fingers. Uh huh. Okay, so um, have you? Let me ask you this: Have you been out of the country, perhaps, lately? I went for a job thing to Central America like two weeks ago, and the thing started like a week before I went there. Really? Um. So what exactly, what were the activities? And if you can, try to be as specific as you can so that, you know, I have a, a general idea of, you know, what's going on here. Basically, I was just helping people how to clean and showing them how to treat animals and, and basically everything about farming and all that, but it was poor people that didn't know how to basically survive, so we were just teaching them how to do it. And, uh, okay, well then, by you saying, which stuck out to me, you said that you were around wild animals. And what I'm thinking is what you have is called tungusis, which is, it's a penetrating flea that goes underneath your skin and lays eggs. Now, I'm not exactly sure if that's exactly what it is, but, you know, the way your finger looks and the pus and the inf inflammation, and you said you had pain and the lesions, this is what I'm just, you know, assuming. I, I don't want to get you scared or anything. And, and what is done? Like, what is that? How do I get that? What is that? For not cleaning or for not no. taking care of No, it's a, um, it's a flea. Yes. It's a, it's a flea that penetrates the skin and it lays eggs underneath the skin, which in turn um, is characterized by a black dot. And in the center, it's red swollen lesion, and it's surrounded by a white halo. What it is is, it's it's the fleas that are biting your skin and laying eggs, and it's now rising to the surface. What we can what we can do is we can, I don't want to exactly you know how whatever it is, it, I'm sure it's treatable, especially tongue is is treatable. But I want to run a few tests on you to exactly make sure that that's what it is. And then we can go for further in your treatment plan and what we can do to get the sweat away. And when can we do the test and all that? We can actually do the test today. And then we can also get your labs back. And then that way I can look over them and then make a final assessment. Okay. Yes, that's, and that's fine. And also, we'll, depending on, you know, if I can look at it and see if it'll be, a, you know, another breakout, you may have to take a couple of days of work. But then again, I don't want to go into too much detail until I know exactly what's the problem. And something else I was going to ask you, is this like, can, can I infect another people with this infect or, or it's not, it won't do anything to, like, let's say if I touch something, would it, if, if, if anybody else would get infected if they touch the same thing with me? They won't get infected if they touch the same thing as you, but if they go and they touch the open lesions and uh, in the flea, depending on if it, if, it, if it has died underneath their skin or not, then maybe it can, it could be like a, you know, a transference. Okay, but let's go back to the back and then we'll get your labs done and then we can know exactly where we're going to go ahead. Okay. 
Okay, Mr. Lemus, I got your test results back, and as I suspected, you have tongue soup. But it is extremely treatable, and by the test run and in the way your hand looks, it looks as if you won't have a second breakout, and it's a minor, minor procedure that will get the, everything cleared up, and then after the procedure, then we're gonna you're gonna follow up for a week with the topical antibiotic treatment, and then you should be cleared up. And when can we do the procedure? We can actually schedule you in tomorrow for the procedure. The procedure is minimal. You won't like have to. You won't have to take off for work or anything. It's minimal. You can actually your pain, depending on your pain level, after we get done, you may or may not be able to go back to work after the procedure. But other than that. That then the days after you should be able to. Work. And what is the procedure? So why, why would you do that? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get you in, and we're gonna take some t tweezers, and we're going to pull the fleas from uh, from out of your skin. And once we get the t the the fleas and everything out of your skin, I'm gonna rub this this um, topical antibiotic treatment on your hand, which is going to expel all of the toxins and all of the, the infection out of your hand. And over the over the next week, you'll put the exact same um, antibiotics on your hand in order for it to heal and make sure that all of the infection is out of your hand. But that does sound like a painful thing. Like, will, will you put me to sleep to that? <laughs> no, we won't put you to sleep. We will give you some numbing some numbing medicine that your hand will be numb. You'll feel a little pressure, but it won't just be pain. And then after that, when I prescribe you the antibiotics, I'll also prescribe you a, um, a light pain medication that will help you. It will help you get through, you know, the um, the pain in the next coming days. So basically, after you take out the fleas out of my fingers, so it, all of this it will go go away already. Or? Depending on how much damage the fleas have done to your finger. You may have little to minimal scarring, but I believe over time, and then, you know, there's all kind of things like Mederma and all those that you can put on your hand that will minimize the appearance of scars. So, so for, to, 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 like for today, do I need to coordinate or something to like, anything, or that will worse the thing? Well, what I'll do today is, because you said you were suffering from mm -hmm. severe pain, I'll give you, the, I actually write you the, the pain med medication today, and we'll, I have my nurse come in and she'll wrap up your hand to make sure that you don't infect anyone else or, or even more infect your hand. And then tomorrow morning, we'll have you come in and then we'll perform the procedure. All right, that sounds good. Um, I'll special you tomorrow. I, mean, I really don't want to get it. <laughs> I understand. No worries. We'll get her in here. We'll get you squared away, and then tomorrow we'll have the procedure. All right, thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow.